up YouTube friends and family it's a little update on the uh, 125 gallon aquarium it's taken exactly three weeks with fish in for the cycling process to finish finally got that all completely done all my nitrites are to zero ammonia is at zero my nitrates are well naturally still at zero I don't overfeed these fish uh, feeding one time a day with some uh, cichlid pellets and a few flakes now we've added more fish I added the pellets I've always been feeding the flakes got this guy here is a OB peacock is a beautiful fish it's a male of course and we picked up this guy here at Walmart of all places I think it's just an ugly version of a electric blue Jahani of course there's the yellow labs trying to get in the picture and I'm not sure what this guy right here is. There's a Sokolify, the stripes on it there. Little Demasonized down here in the bottom hanging out. Oh, the red zebras. They're screaming, let me in, let me in. Oh, look at that. There's the Jacob's Fairy Peacock. And you tell me that ain't a beautiful fish. That guy is just phenomenal. This is all a resort of, uh, result of... Uh, Joni spoiling me. Got some real good algae growth going on now for three weeks. I still have not added an algae eater. I just don't think it's fair to the fish to add something that's not needed yet. There's, you know, these guys primarily vegetarians, so they pick at the algae anyways. So I'm gonna wait till I got some good algae growth before I start throwing in algae eaters. We did get a Cynodonis catfish. I'm not going to be able to show you him. He's he's inside that pot, up in the. They swim upside down. He's he's in there. I'm not not sure if it's showing up on the video or not, but he only comes out at night. To, oh, there's the. Where did he go? There's the exasperatus right there. He's one of my favorites. I think that and the ob peacock man. He just. He's a glutton for camera time. Look at him. I mean, just beautiful. But yeah, it's been... Um, Monday was exactly three weeks. Uh, went to Aquarium World, picked up a few more fish. Got a couple of electric yellow labs. Picked up the Jacob's Ferry. We're not quite sure what this guy right here is. He's a mutant of some sort, crossbred. They, Aquarium World said he was an asshole, and Joni said, well, he'll fit right in with Scott, and I said, well, of course, I mean, let's go ahead and have an asshole in the tank. We got one in the house, and uh, picked up a few more rocks. I'm going to totally start rock, rockscaping the aquarium now, that, uh, that'll help grow good nitrifying bacteria things needed to maintain the aquarium we're very excited that we get to really start pumping this tank out now I'm thinking about 40 African cichlids that's including peacocks with a with a tank you 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 if you're going to do African cichlids I've said before you don't want anything smaller than a 75 gallon so if you if, just for math sakes if you have a hundred gallon aquarium after rocks and everything you have an actual hundred gallons you divide that by two that leaves you 50 you can have 50 mbunas in that tank properly maintained water changes once every two weeks at least a 20 percent water change um peacocks count as two so if you have a hundred gallon tank and you're going to divide that in half you're going to get 50 so peacocks count as two you can have 25 peacocks um, they're going to get quite a bit larger than the Ambunas. Um, I consider myself very good in the in the aquarium hobby. Some people probably respect or consider me higher than that, but uh, I'm not the best there is. I'm not I'm not the greatest aquarium keeper in the world. You know, I have my faults too, but I do my water changes. I maintain my um, water spectrums where, where they're supposed to be um, I'm going to be changing the light in this aquarium it's just got the uh, single fluorescent tube I'm going with the LEDs 
the marine land with the uh, color changers and the cloud cover and the lightning and all that fancy lighting effects but that's that's in the next month or two right now i'm just worried about getting the aquarium up and running and getting some tank mates in there i haven't had a problem with aggression um and that's another thing to talk about in a later video because i'm already over five minutes but the more you have the less aggression so hope you like the update i'll continue with the updates and We'll be getting some more rock in there. And then you're gonna see some some amazing, amazing fish going in here in the next few weeks. We're about to start ordering some specials. So there you go. The 125 gallon aquarium in full effect. It's go time. <laughs>